Dozens of residents given just a few hours to vacate a downtown apartment building after it was condemned. Good evening, I'm Bill Fitzgerald. I'm Candace Burns. The building was condemned back in 2013 for safety concerns. Our Shannon Lilly joins us live in the studio with more. Candace, we saw residents moving their furniture, disabled people stranded outside in wheelchairs, families with their children carrying boxes of shoes. It was all happening at a downtown apartment this afternoon after people were given just hours to get out. We was panicking, like everybody woke up out there asleep to this. A knock on the door. And boom, bam. Oh, y'all gotta go. That's the reality for Christian so, Garland, Destiny go? McClendon, and dozens other residents at the Grace Place Apartments in Richmond's downtown Friday who were given just hours to pack their bags after the building was condemned. At the end of the day, everybody pays their own rent. So if we're getting kicked out same day eviction, that's how it feels like to me. If we're getting kicked out right now, and you don't tell you're not telling me where we going. The pair says their day was flooded with confusion. Man. Every resident is asking each other for you're information on. like and fear. What about our food? How are we going to eat with very little communication from their property manager? How you know people going to have somebody that's going to be able to help them with this stuff? What about the ones that can't walk? A spokesperson for the Richmond Fire Department says as a result of a building inspection Friday morning, the fire marshal's office and city department of planning and review deemed the 4th Street building unsafe with the city spokesperson citing multiple serious life safety issues needing to be addressed by the property owner like fire suppression systems not working properly, elevator issues and alarm panels not working. Richmond Fire says before people can return to the building, those things need to be addressed and a structural engineer needs to ensure the building is structurally sound. As for the residents and I was on the street for five years and just to be saying I came here to be back on the streets again. No, in a statement, a Richmond Fire spokesperson says it is quote the responsibility of the property owner property management to notify the tenants and to handle temporary living living arrangements for them, but adds that the city of Richmond is doing what it can to help working to get people out and accommodated as quickly as possible for now. It's not right, and I feel like they should give us an explanation. Residents here are left with an unclear timeline of when they can come home and no answers as to why those in charge let it come to this. I just pray for us. And a Richmond Fire spokesperson says residents are getting help through several different housing agencies. They also say staff with the Department of Social Services have stayed on site with credit vouchers for anyone still in need. In the meantime, we attempted to speak with the property manager about the situation today. They declined to respond. Working for you in the studio, I'm Shannon Lilly. Bill, Candace.